I've been spotted. I ah! didn't even have time to say I've been made. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of DP Live, where my name is Dana Pond, and you would be watching this DP Live, possibly even in real time, except not today because it's a pre recorded video. Now, today I am joined on the couch by my best friend, Pert Pickles from Canadian indie rock band Lost As Found. And if you want to check out Canadian indie rock band Lost As Found, check out the links in the description below. There's Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, all those good places. Uh, so today we're playing Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrated. We're hopping back into the game. This is episode 13 in our little series here. And I think that where we last left, last left off, bleh, <laughs> we have a mission to do. Um, this guy wanted to go visit his wife in the graveyard, and the graveyard is overrun with monsters. So we have to go do that. And then I think we're making our way back to Sector 7. Um, <laughs> just following the story. Let's hop on back into the game. Let's play some Final Fantasy VII together. This is going to be awesome. This should be a good one. So check it out. Stick, stick around. <laughs> and we'll, let's do this thing. <laughs> Every time. So be cautious. <laughs> um... Yeah, uh, so we're playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. Gotta love the intro music, gotta listen to it every time. It's just like, that's what happens when you boot up Final Fantasy VII, and I want you to have that experience every time you boot up one of these videos. Oh yeah, it's Final Fantasy VII. So let's pick up where we left off, shall we? Alright, so this is pretty much where we last left off. Um, we have to go talk to the old man. Oh no, he wants the graveyard. We have to go to the graveyard. Come on, keep going. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired looking guy out by the community center. And I heard he was looking for some help. There's a lot of problems we can't fix because we're just kids. And that's where you come in. Okay, so what is this about? Oh, hey, Cloud. You're just in time for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're going to make a special exception just for you. The basic rules. Destroy as many boxes as possible within the time limit. Each box will add to your score, and once the timer reaches zero, the game is over. Reach the target score to win. The durability, effects, and score differ with each type of box. No holding back. Yeah. 
That was a lot of boxing. Cow, you crushed it. See, pretty fun, right? Play with us again, okay? Wanna play some whack a box? A crescent moon charm, a spectral cogwheel, and a Moogle medal. Um, I want the spectral cogwheel. We'll try one more round. Why won't they break? Trying one more time. Yeah. 
Let's get this over with. Let's do this. That'll do. Get ready. Okay, <clears throat> we got a Crescent Moon Charm and a Moogle Medal. I, become strong, just like I feel like we have to come back to this because we are not strong enough to break those boxes. Welcome to the Moogle Emporium. and dreams come true? Not just yours, Koopa. The wishes of every single person in the swamps. It's a lot of wishes. Lots of people in Midgar love to collect Moogle medals, you know. They'll pay anything to get their hands on more. I'm using the money to set up more shops all throughout the slums, Koopa. I'm giving jobs to the other kids and making life better for everyone here. And that's how I'll make everyone happy. That's one way of doing it, Koopa. And I've got extra happiness for you two. So what's to stop us from selling directly to these collectors? Uh, Moogle Magic Koopa? Next time, keep your plans to yourself. Thanks, you guys. By working together, I know we can make the world a happier place. All right, let's go to the graveyard. That was frustrating, but rewarding. That reminded me of like the mini games, the Barrel Smasher in Kingdom Hearts. Well, I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. Allows an ally to follow the leader's attack command with an attack from the linked materia. Does not consume ATB charges or MP. Works with fire, ice, lightning, wind, and poison materia. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions.
focus. Oh crap, I didn't read it. grateful for what you did. Here's your reward. I owe him a lot, maybe more than I can ever repay. And now, I owe you a lot, too. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife, and we took care of those creatures. Oh, 
That's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying. And then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. <laughs> Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. <laughs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. <sighs> it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? All right. That's become the talk of the town. Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ugh. That rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain, but the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the Merc of the Hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. I'll welcome any and all information pertaining to the so-called Angel of the Slums. All right, so I'm sure the locals know much, much more than they're letting on. What? I am jumped to the plate. Oh, here for a checkup. You should go when I came to meet you. Why, hello! What is it? The guardian angel of the slums? Such a mysterious figure, always talked about but never seen by anyone. The angel gets in and out without being noticed, and always leaves a calling card. <gasps> Maybe a magician. No, no, it's no magic trick. It's genuine magic. Rumor has it that the angel is a witch. If we're going by rumors, then I've heard that it's actually a monster in disguise. Well, I could talk all day about the dozens of stories I've heard. I'm sorry we didn't have any useful information to share. Is that all you needed? If you want to hear about the latest rumors, I'd be happy to share. Midgar wouldn't be Midgar without the blade in the reactor. Good to see you again, Murray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Murray. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Murray, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Mm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the Angel of the Slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the Whispered Word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty the Chinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, or whatever. 
Or could it be you've fallen under the angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? All right, so let's head back to the reporter. You could see the sky? Of course. It was there for the looking. This okay. here's the Sector 5 Community Center. Yep. It sure I is. I thought we'd put those days of war and so, death behind any news? Us. Have but you tried talking I to Mireille at all? Move on. She told us that she had some information to share. Mireille? As in the Mireille? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap. So how do you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us. What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as its lair. Oh, quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... Well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. And a plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist model. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. The forgotten Lookout Point deep within the scrap. Could it be that this place holds the secrets of the Angel? This is what we need to find out. I feel like we need to ask if for more money. If you run afoul of any ravenous fiends, it would be lovely if you did something about it. For the truth. It's the first time Cloud's not asking for money. It's weird. Hide the monster up at Lookout Point ain't your average beastie. You be careful now. Alright, let's go slay this monster. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? Go on!
I passed it. We could always run away, right? Oh my god. Call 
Stay back. 420 Gil. 420 Gil. Blaze it. should look around. Blaze it, big guy. Guardian Angel's calling her. Angel of the slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell them what we found. I can't believe it! You found one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it! Pinned by the angel herself! Hmm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find! Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinma reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel. A warning. That's what she said, yeah. If the Merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. No harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip off Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's bucket. <laughs> can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merc. You certainly lived up to your reputation. Awesome. We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pay sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. I've got plans to make. Can't wait. I don't know if you know it. Even there's just a part. Wait a sec. You coming? You can't run. Come on. Come on, Cloud. Come on, Cloud. Walk up the stairs. Come on. Talking to the. So, yeah, it was that kind of day. <sighs> Let's go. Shouldn't keep mom waiting. Hey, what'd they say? Good work today, guys. Kidding. They didn't say a word. But, you know... Uh... Never mind. 
It's not like you'd believe me after all. Hmm. Probably not. Tell me anyway. Really? Yeah. It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. Something they... Need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. But, before they can... There's a final step that has to be taken. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Could have fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? <laughs> okay, time to go. Learn to talk to her. Did the flower say anything? Uh, good work today, guys? <laughs> That's the spirit. MP up materia. You're heading in already? Nah, not quite yet. Is there anything that we need to do before we head inside? Okay, I just checked our map and stuff and our missions and yeah, it looks like we don't have anything else to do. So let's hop on inside this house. Probably going to get a cutscene and then I think we're going to call it an episode. You're heading in already? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. <sighs> Don't want to overstay my welcome.
Okay, um, we're suddenly getting way too much lag. Um, like, this is unreasonable. Uh, so we're gonna call it an episode here. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, so we were getting a lot of lag right near the end there. Um, I'm not really sure what was going on, but um, we're gonna... I'll restart my computer and we'll start recording fresh in the next episode. Um, so thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, thanks for playing video games with me and my best friend, Pert Pickles, from Canadian indie rock band Lost As Found. If you do want to check out Canadian indie rock band Lost As Found, check out the links in the description below. There's Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, all those great places. If you want to shop Canadian indie rock band Lost As Found, check out the merch store in the description below, where you can buy these awesome Pert t-shirts, you can buy this awesome Time and Eternity bag, you can buy this awesome Lost As Found hoodie, right here. And it's got Pert on the front, Lost As Found on the back. Um, but yeah, no, uh, Pert is the face of Lost As Found, so if you want to support Lost As Found, buy some Pert merch. And uh, yeah. Thanks for joining us on the couch today. If you enjoyed today's episode, click the like button. That should be underneath Pert's feet. And um, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications. That way you'll get notified next time we're going DP live. You can catch us in the chat, which would be over that way. And since this is a pre-recorded video, you can catch me down in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what I should play next. Um, whatever it is, let me know down below in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching. Um, much love to you and yours. And I hope you're enjoying Final Fantasy VII, uh, the remake, Intergrade. And I hope that you're having fun with it. I hope that you're having as much fun with it as I am, because I'm really enjoying the crap out of this. Um, I can't put it down, and yeah, no, I haven't binge played a video game like this since... Hooey! I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, it's been that long. But, um, gosh, am I enjoying this one. So yeah, um, we will catch you in the next episode. And as Pert always says, see ya! So bye guys.